And now it is my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome to the stage another very special guest. Edna Negron Rosario's work as an educator, community activist, and advocate inspires us at the Hall of Fame each and every day. Her story serves as a guiding light to young people across the state. Please welcome 1994 Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame inductee, Edna Negron Rosario. She is a jewel, and we are very fortunate to have her. Thank you, Les. And uh, tonight I'm especially proud that I work for Puerto Rico's first elected woman governor, Sila Maria Calderon. <laughs> Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame Gala is always a magical moment for me. The celebration of the myriad contributions of so many incredible women washes over me like a wave of warm, scented oil that heals my spirit and nurtures my soul. Today, we celebrate women and, and political spirit. Although there are many women who have been role models for me in the political arena, women such as Ella Grasso and Barbara Kennelly, giants who became legendary in their own lifetime, for me, Maria Colon Sanchez has been the one closest, most influential in my life. Maria was a political animal. She was a savvy, strategic visionary and relentless in accomplishing whatever she set out to do, from bringing the first Spanish-speaking priest to Sacred Heart Church, to creating the Puerto Rican Parade of Connecticut, to becoming the first Puerto Rican elected to office in the state of Connecticut. She served at the Hartford Board of Education for 16 years. After being elected to the Connecticut House of Representatives, she died in office. I followed her footsteps, but will never be able to fill her shoes. She dedicated her life to the improvement of education for all children, though she herself was childless, and to the creation of a better quality of life for Puerto Ricans in the state. Maria firmly believed that she could accomplish both through the electoral process. She ran a little newsstand on Hartford's Albany Avenue, and from that newsstand she orchestrated political, educational, and cultural activities that significantly changed the lives of many of us in the state of Connecticut. El voto es sagrado. The franchise is a sacred trust. She spoke those words to the thousands of children who came to buy candy and comic books in her store over the years, and to her loyal volunteers who conducted voter registration and get out the vote campaigns. I was one of those volunteers. I watched as she showed young people how to use a small voting machine she kept in her store and listened as she urged them to tell their parents to vote. El voto es sagrado. As I read Tuesday's Hartford Current and saw the picture of 10-year-old Maria Angeli Jimenez of Kinsella School registering in front of the old state house, I thought about Maria and how I could feel the power of her spirit in that picture. She would be so very proud an elementary school involving the children in voter registration. Wow. We must involve our children in understanding and engaging in the electoral process. It is the cornerstone of a constitutional democracy. We must turn the voting apathy of the American people into a voting frenzy. We must, we must, we must, because el voto es sagrado. Ladies and gentlemen, the franchise is indeed a sacred trust. Thank you.